Hello everybody. You want to go bass fishing in the shade? Well, come on in. Feels fine. Got a nice breeze. We're in the shade. Well, let's go BFS it. Come on, get in this boat. Let's go. Come on. Can't wait forever. Get in this boat. We're going over to the windy side. That's where they're biting. Buckle up and hang on. We let's just go. now talked about all this BFS stuff. You're like, okay, Charlie, let's see some of it in action. That's a, that spider bit me. I could die. You want to see some of it in action? Buckle up and hang on. Let's see what we want to put in action first. Hang on, we're moving you around. All right. I know, hang on. Hang on, you guys are fine. Don't stop not that bad I hope you guys can see okay all right let's put it into action. this bait's had it today it caught a lot this awesome bait let's try something else let's go with the small crank now I haven't tried these new ones let's try what do you guys say We've got a bunch of new ones right here Let's try this green guy. Brand new bait. Never thrown it yet. Let's just see. Whoa. Let's just see. Feels okay. A lot of times with any kind of new crank, it's just see if it comes at you straight. And as long as it does, it's probably going to work. If it starts, you know, veers off one way, never comes back, that's not good. Oh, we caught a fish. Look at that. Oh, it spit it out. Did you guys see that? Well, was it the hooks or was that me? Let's find out. All right, strike one for me. Good bait, though. I thought that was a hit. This bait works awesome for this rod, it's 6'3". Oh, I'm at a weird spot, I can't just yank and set the hook. I'm getting hits like every cast. I'm gonna have to scoot up. I'm gonna have to scoot up and fish like this. So if I get a good hit, I can yank hard. It's one of the downsides to these bimini tops. Okay, you guys aren't going to believe this. Battery went dead, and I was just saying i got to be way out there to uh, be able to set the hook. But guess what? You ain't never going to believe it. My new bait, and this fish has been on the whole time it took me to switch batteries. I just let him be on. Our new BFS bait is perfect. Catches them. Awesome. This color, these, these little fish anyway, are on it today. They're up against that bank on the windy side. Now this way I'll be able to yank. Also, if you guys are married, you probably don't want to put a bimini top on your boat because you'll never go home. And then your uh, wife will be mad at you. Because you're fishing in the summertime just until the heat gets there. As you can see, as long as there's a breeze and it's kind of hot weather, I can sit here in the shade and fish all day. All day, baby. I could do it all day. I might do it all day. Oh, look at you, you beautiful little creature. Get, get your butt in here. Get, get in here. I don't know how many videos I'm going to be putting together out of today's footage, but they are on it today. I'm either on it or they're on it or both. Oh, you, my friend, I should have took you home and filleted your little butt. This new little bait, this color is working very good. 
as you can see I'm anchored down I haven't moved anywhere I've did a whole 40 minute video talking about stuff and then just started casting out here figured I'd show you guys some of the baits maybe add that into the footage and this little bait is just kicked in and that's why you know for guys that if you're you know if you're not a tournament fisherman and you're just fishing for fun sometimes that bigger bite just shuts off or big bass or wherever you're at they're you know the only option you have are little bitty panfish or little bass or little fish in general and they are a lot of fun on bfs bfs get oh that might uh oh get up here you mean that sucker fought you fought way harder than you look that sucker i he wasn't pulling drag but when i go to reel i couldn't reel him in anymore because he was tugging so hard that is insane that little bitty dude these little guys are fighters these little guys mm, they're fighters throw him out before he slips out well i got a new favorite color crank for bfs that little green and yellowish color is working good it's not always this easy just to anchor down and start throwing Sometimes you actually have to work for the bike. Sometimes. I'm in the shade. I got my Diet Coke. Mm. Although, it is 12.30 now. So probably in the next hour, I might want to try to get on a big bike. Because that's when... Whoa! Now that one, I... Is that another little perch? That sucker, that's a little perch again. Yep, I'm on. Oh. Quick release. Pro level 100. Did it again. Yeah. Hold the applause, please. I'm telling you guys, I could do this all day. Bimini top. Go get you one. Put it on whatever boat you got. I don't know if you'd want to try wriggling up on a kayak. Might be a bit much. But from a little two-man to whatever boat you got, you put that Bimini top. You are carrying shade around with you, my friend. You can sit out here. Don't get sunburnt like I did. I had the top last week, too, but... Or actually, two weeks ago, I got burnt because I was like, eh, I'll try to get a little sun. So I'll get used to it before I put sunscreen on and got toasted. But anyway, yeah. Get your Bimini top. Get you some BFS stuff. Get out on the water somewhere and just troll around or just anchor down to wherever you happen to be like I'm doing right here but this is a good spot the winds blowing into this bank it's kind of a steeper bank and so it's just fish on fish on let's try it down that way whoa and one thing if you do get these bimini tops they have these they have four of these you're supposed to you know one in each corner well i leave one of the corners down on the front it gives me more room it's hard to explain but if i had from here to here it's very limited i can go way out here it just makes it better and for you you might want to leave this one undone to, you know it just depends on where you're at i guess because i could always unwrap that one hook it unhook this one and the top stays up and i can do you know still get more motion that way So a lot of times, you know, if you're casting it, you do not want to get, once you realize you got the, you know, you're setting down and you got the top up, you can't just do your standard yank straight up. You kind of need to do a sidearm sweep hook set, no matter, you know, where, where it's at. So like here, those first few fish I missed because I, I couldn't really set the hook. I was just reeling. And one thing that I guess people don't talk about, I'm going to try it on the next fish if I can keep from yanking. But sometimes if you just, not even yanking, you just reel fast, it's kind of the equivalent of setting the hook. I mean, if you go from a, you know, you just speed up that reel. Because I know you guys see it all the time. Well, I couldn't help myself, I'd yank. I know you see it all the time, little kids, they just reeling and reeling and they got the fish. 
you know, a lot of times an actual true hook set isn't needed. They, if they feel something, they get excited, they just start reeling faster usually is how they set the hook. That's a good chunk right there. All right. These little dudes, I'm going to try it this time. Just real fast, Hicklin. Do not yank. I should set the rod down. See if I can get a let's see if I can get a hook set without setting the hook just by reeling. Alright, let's go way up but not as close to the bank. That's I couldn't help but yank it right when it hit the water. Oh yeah, baby, get on there. Ooh, what is oh what are you? Oh my goodness, look at you. Oh look at you, you feisty. I'm tearing up these little bluegills. I'm just on it. I'm on a bluegill kick. I don't even like catching bluegill. But yet here I am. BFS and bluegills. Mwah. Did you just what? Uh-uh. Get out of here. Did you hear what he said? Oh, you don't speak bluegill? I do. You don't know what he said. You don't want to know. All right, we know the hard baits work. Haven't had much luck on a little bitty spinner bait like that one. I've caught my spinner baits before small, but let's try this little bitty micro chatter bait. You know me, chatter bait Charlie. I need to start catching them on the little chatter baits too, right? Right. Of course. Now we had some action going on way up here, so let's try it. Let's see if we can get way up there. I got one right. Get the water. I think he's still on. Oh my gosh, there's some act. I lost him. <laughs> I didn't have time to set the hook and I was right there, but that was a hit as soon as it hit the water. Chatterbait on fire! They start up about the same. I mean, you gotta give a little crank and you feel them start. Dang it, I wanted to get that fish in. There's a big turtle right there. I got one. I felt that sucker hit. That could be a better bass. I thought I saw a big turtle. Pretty sure that's what that is. Let's, let's see what this is. Whoa! Whoa! No, what is that? That's just a good bass. Just a nice... Uh-oh. I can probably boat flip him, but... I got all this other stuff going on. Oh! I want to stand up and get him on in the boat. Alright, there you go. They don't call me Chatterbait Charlie for nothing. You want to see a bass on a micro Chatterbait? Mm -hmm. BFS? There you go. Oh, yeah. Boo! Get out there. Everybody freaks out when I throw fish, too. I'll comment real quick about that. I toss them with their heads like, you know, it's not that it, I'm not just like banging them on the ground or letting them flop around in the boat. Sometimes that happens, but I don't try to do that. But when I flip one, you know, or toss it back in the water, it's no big deal. I've had people comment about that, like I'm doing something crazy wrong, and I should, I guess, set and place each one gently into the ground. After I've about yanked its head off and, you know, done whatever, it's far worse to yank them in the boat and let them flop their own heads up and down off the boat. That's what hurts them more than anything. You know, once you toss them, it's just like a nosedive or a belly flop or whatever in the water. No big deal for the fish. All right, boys and girls, I'm putting an end to this show. Sun is out, guns are toast. And I'm ready to go back, take a shower, start editing some footage, and put together a video. What do you guys think? So anyway, before I get out of here, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Whatever you do, get out, go bass and bonsai for yourself. I'm... I'm loading up. I'm out of here. Seriously. I'm gone.
I'm gone, really. That is not me casting a bait. I'm out of here. I got spider web all over me. My arms are, I'm sure, gone. They're fried. Uh, we did fish in the shade. Had an excellent, excellent day overall. So, yeah, get out of here. Uh, I'm leaving, but I'm going this way. Truck's that way. Uh, if I catch anything, I'll put it on the end of this video right now. If you have any questions about anything you see, the boat, the tackle, whatever, uh, this is the video to ask a question. I'll try to answer everything that gets asked. I try to answer all of them on any video, but this is it. This is your chance. Can you guys hear me? to catch a fish while you guys are over there doing nothing. There we go. Told you guys I'm leaving. On a jet plane. That is a crappie. Ooh. Is it? Is it not? Is it or is it not? That, my friends, makes the third species we've caught. Caught a ton of bluegill today. All kinds of bass, all different shapes and sizes. That is the first fish on this little bait. I usually throw a half or a three quarter ounce, as you all know. Ow. I hooked myself. They're biting. But I'm out, I'm out, I'm leaving. I just wanna tell you guys something. I live my life one cast at a time. And for that one cast, oh, it's just me versus the fish. Nothing else matters. Not the tackle shops, not the bass fishing team, none of that. It's just me and that bass one-on-one. -on -one. And it's game on. Am I full of it? Hell yes, I am. Let's go!